woods all around be slow to the pace and render the sweetness from the maple tree's grace. This one was no problem, except for the fact that a few people I have shown it to want to know when the website will be going on. I don't know. Face. And what he said, 
it was the shoes that really gave me a <laughs> and I worked on them, worked on them. I still don't know if I got them right. But I know one thing, he's an inspiration. Yes.
there was on the board something I haven't quite seen before. It was his poem called Weeds, which is in here, and uh, a painting. Who was the artist in that painting? But, but, but the, the correlation was significant to a degree that Peggy and I both felt those poems, if there were more, should be visualized because they are already making visual connection in the mind and the heart. Wonderful, wonderful, impactful, powerful words and ideas. Thank you. So I asked Lord if it were possible to do some drawings of this and Peggy had planned on, I had been drawing for many years. I've been painting and drawing, but I've been drawing on napkins, napkin doodling. And so she had hundreds of my doodle napkins. And so we had we wanted to show them to friends, you know, family and so forth. And Lauren was kind enough to offer his place, which was a perfect gallery, space and everything you needed for us to put up all my drawings. But we said, and this was the right thing, only if we could put up your poem. And that was the first chance we had for people to really get that sensation. And it was so great that it gave us the idea to continue what we were doing. And so as the poems were published and Lauren was writing them, I was doing the drawings. It took about two years, I guess. Probably. Not you kept asking for more poems. Kept asking for more poems, thank goodness. And uh, the, um, uh, the result is what you see here. And we're, I, I, I'm, it's, out of all the things I've ever done, this has been one of the most satisfying I can imagine. Thanks to this guy and his talent.